Hello and welcome to another episode of the Game in a Nutshell series, which is a series of videos designed for explaining the board game rules by Nithranya Play It Right YouTube channel. My name is Branislav Berets and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Koatl, which means a feathered snake, and in this game players will build sculptures of Koatls from beautiful plastic pieces, and whoever builds the most prestigious Koatls will win the game. To set the game up, first sort out these plastic pieces into their corresponding bags. Then place this supply board in the middle of the table, shuffle these prophecy cards, create a face down deck and deal the first six cards face up. Then shuffle these temple cards and first deal one card to each player and players keep these cards as a hidden information. Then divide the remaining cards into two face up piles next to the supply board. Then fill in the supply board by drawing the pieces from the bags and placing them on the corresponding spaces. So you would draw 12 body pieces, 2 tails and 2 heads. Then give each player a player board, 3 sacrifice tokens in their color, which the authors of the game don't recommend to use in your first game, and then randomly choose the first player and give them the first player token. Deal 3 prophecy cards to the first player, then the second player in the player order would get 4 prophecy cards, third player would get 5 prophecy cards and fourth player would get 6 prophecy cards. Each player may inspect all of their cards and discard down to 3 cards. Again, prophecy cards are hidden information in the game. However, to explain the rules I will show them face up. In Koatl, players alternate taking turns, starting with the first player and then continuing in a clockwise direction. On your turn, you may choose one of the following three actions. The first option is to take Koatl pieces, the second option is to take the prophecy cards, and the third option is to take your Koatl pieces and build your Koatl. When you decide to take the Koatl pieces, choose one and only one space on the supply board, so either two body pieces or one tail or one head, and take all the pieces from that space. Then place those pieces in your storage area, where each storage space can hold maximum one piece, so you can have maximum eight pieces in your storage area. Do not replenish the supply board yet. It will only happen when this inner circle of pieces or the outer circle will be completely empty. So if someone takes the piece and there are no heads and no tails on the supply board, fill in all empty spaces on the supply board with pieces randomly drawn from the bags. Similarly, if someone takes the last body pieces from the supply board, again, fill all the empty spaces. If you wouldn't have enough heads or tails to fill in all the empty spaces on the supply board, continue playing with the partially replenished board. Similarly, if you wouldn't have enough body pieces to refill all the empty spaces, again, continue with the partially replenished board, however, this would trigger the end of the game. When you take the body pieces, you always have to take both of these body pieces, so if you wouldn't have enough empty spaces in your storage area, you would not be allowed to take that action. The second option is to take the prophecy cards. Each player has a hand limit of 5 prophecy cards. When you take the cards, you can take as many cards from the display as you want, or even from the top of the deck, as long as you don't exceed that 5 cards hand limit. Then draw new cards from the top of the deck to replenish the display back to 6 cards. The third option is to assemble your coatl. When assembling your coatl, Take the pieces from your player board, and you have three options. You can begin a new coatl, you can add pieces to your existing coatl, and you can add prophecy cards to one of your existing coatls. You may use these options as many times as you want and in any order. To begin a new coatl, simply take the pieces from your player board and start building your new coatl. When you have two incomplete coatls, you may not start building the third one. Complete Koatl is obviously the one with the head, body pieces and the tail. 
When adding pieces from your player board to an existing coatl, simply take the piece and add it to one end of one of your incomplete coatls. You may either add body pieces or head or a tail. Third option is to add prophecy cards to one of your incomplete coatls. This is called fulfilling a prophecy card. In order to do that, your coatl has to fulfill the requirement on the prophecy card. The requirements are listed at the bottom of the prophecy cards. In this example, this coatl has to have a sequence of black, blue, black and blue piece. The sequence shown on the card depicts only the color and the pattern. It's not restricted to body pieces only. This part of the coatl would also satisfy this requirement. The head and the tail of the coatl on the card indicates the orientation of those pieces. So this sequence does not satisfy this requirement. You can have up to four cards assigned to one coatl. So if that coatl fulfills the requirements on any other card in your hand, you can continue adding those cards to the coatl. By fulfilling the prophecy cards, you can score victory points at the end of the game. This symbology in the top left hand corner indicates that you will score 5 victory points for this prophecy card if your coatl contains this pattern at least one time. Even though your coatl would contain more than one sequence or one pattern shown at the bottom of the card, you will only score one of those patterns. However, with this card, you can fulfill that requirement more than one time. Specifically, if you fulfill that requirement three times, you will score two victory points. In this example, we have four black pieces, which is the requirement. In that case, the player would score three victory points. In this example, this yellow and black sequence is repeated three times. So that means the player would score five victory points. This requirement is also fulfilled over here. And this requirement is fulfilled four times. That means the player would score three victory points. To complete a coatl, it must have a head, body pieces and a tail. However, to complete a coatl, you must have at least one prophecy card fulfilled with that coatl. Then you may fulfill up to four cards, however you may never fulfill two identical cards with the same coatl. Upon completing a coatl, immediately perform the following steps. First, you can fulfill as many prophecy cards from your hand as you want, up to four. If you can, fulfill a temple card either from your hand or from the common piles. Each temple card has two requirements and to fulfill a temple card you can either fulfill one, the other or both requirements. If you only fulfill one of those requirements, score this number of victory points. If you fulfill both requirements, score this bottom value. In this example, the coatl has to have the same number of red and green pieces, which in this case is three green and three red. In addition, the coatl has to have six pieces in total, which again is true. So in this case, with this temple card, player would score seven victory points for this coatl. After completing a coatl, flip all the fulfilled cards face down. Keep them next to the coatl, they will be scored at the end of the game. When assembling a coatl, you don't have to use all of your PCs and you don't have to have full player board to start assembling coatls. You may have maximum two incomplete coatls and once placed, coatl PCs may not be moved. In addition, you may never join coatls together. If any player completes their third coatl, or if there are no body pieces left on the supply board and in the bag, the end of the game is triggered. If the game end was triggered by a player completing their third coatl, let's say it was the red player, then all other players will take one final turn. However, given that this is the first player in a turn order, all players behind the player who triggered the end of the game will take two actions on their final turn. All players who act earlier in turn order than the player who triggered the end of the game will only take one action on their final turn. The player who triggered the end of the game doesn't take any additional turns. If the end of the game was triggered due to the empty supply of body segments, let's say it was the red player again, continue playing until the last player in the turn order. Then each player will take one final turn. Then proceed to scoring. 
flip the supply board to the other side and each player will use a body segment of their color to track their score. Flip all the fulfilled cards face up and score each coatl. Anytime you pass this 50 score mark, place one of your sacrifice tokens with this 50 side up next to the scoreboard. Then continue counting your score from zero. Then the player with the most points is the winner. If you decide to play with these sacrifice tokens, they each provide special actions which you play instead of your normal action. To do that, you have to discard the corresponding token. This one allows you to take either one head or one tail or two body pieces of your choice from the bags, so not from the supply board. Place the selected pieces on your player board and refill all the empty spaces on the supply board. When you use this second sacrifice token, you can discard all the prophecy cards from the display and any number of cards from your hand, then reveal six new cards face up and then take as many as you want until you have five cards in your hand. And when you use the last sacrifice token, you can simply take one of the face up temple cards and put it into your hand. In this section of the video, I'll give you the detailed explanation of the prophecy cards and the temple cards. With this prophecy card, you will score each yellow piece of your coatl. It can be any piece, so it can be tail, head or body segment. They don't have to be adjacent. So in this case, we have three yellow pieces, so that would be two victory points. You can fulfill this prophecy card if we have a sequence of green, green, red and red piece, which is here. You can only score it one time. With this prophecy card, you will score 4 victory points if we have a sequence of yellow and red piece, then any number of other pieces of any color, and then again red and yellow piece. So here we have yellow and red over here, and then we have red and yellow over here, and then any number of pieces of any color in between. You can score this prophecy card if you have two adjacent red pieces and they are not adjacent to other red pieces. That means they are connected to pieces of other color or they are not connected to any piece at all. So in this example, both of these red pairs would count towards this prophecy card and the player would score five victory points. You can score this prophecy card if you have a red piece and yellow piece separated by any number of blue pieces. So in this case, it's this sequence. This top requirement on the temple card indicates that your coatl may not contain any black pieces. The bottom requirement indicates that the coatl has to have the same number of red and blue pieces. This bottom requirement indicates that your coatl must contain exactly eight pieces, including the head and the tail. So that's it, that's how you play Coatl. If you would have any questions or comments, please put them into the comment sections below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you like the series, please subscribe. My name is Branislav Berec. You've been watching Game in a Nutshell and hope to see you next time.